All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Matt Town Wrap-Up. I'm Doug Spadafore. That's head wrestling coach Scott Moore. Uh, Scott, let's talk a little bit. The guys went down to Morgantown, West Virginia on Saturday night. Tough match with the Mountaineers. Bobby Ream, though, definitely a bright spot. Picked up his 91st career win. Uh, talk a little bit about the West Virginia match. Yeah, it was a great match for Bob. He, you know, he went down there wrestling a, um, a stud freshman. And, um, you know, the kid last week had beat a sixth or seventh rate kid in the country. So I knew it was going to be a big match for him. And, you know, this is kind of the part of the season last year that he started to be more consistent, really started to, you know, pick up the intensity, wrestle a little bit smarter. So, you know, like I said, great match, getting a win. I think it was 5-1, to one, uh, won a last 30-second uh, last scramble and ended up getting some back points. And I was proud of the way he competed under the spotlight down there. And, you know, as a program, a lot of close matches. Um, West Virginia has got some new coaches, you know, some new fire in their program. You went down there battling a lot of, you know, two overtime matches, uh, two other matches within two points. So, you know, things could have really went either way. Um, for us, it's really an opportunity to go down again and wrestle a Big 12 program, a program that's, uh, you know, gearing towards being a top 10 program in the country. And I think our guys responded well. And it's just exciting for us to, to wrestle in that type of environment. You know, that's something we've been talking about all year, wrestling those better teams, wrestling top 25 programs and getting in that environment and putting our guys to the test and you know really seeing how they respond and being able to come back and, and work on those things that we need to get better at and you know just another example of uh, you know where we're trying to move our program and you know getting our younger guys at competition wrestling you know three or four ranked guys you know against West Virginia and, and uh, you know battling hard for seven minutes and you know trying to get the win and uh, I think that's only going to improve down the road couple bright spots over at the Cleveland State Open as uh, Coach Fittery took a couple guys over there to compete this weekend. We have to start. Ronnie Perry uh, won the championship at 141, really having a great year, although he's redshirting. Uh, national qualifier last year. Just talk a little bit about what Ronnie does well. You know, Ronnie's one of those guys, he just brings the fire to every competition, and uh, he, he's been wrestling well this year, has like 18 or 19 wins for us as a red shirt, uh, was able to capture the Cleveland State Open uh, Championship this weekend, had some great wins against some tough opponents from some MAC schools, some Big Ten schools, and uh, he's one of those guys that just is exciting to watch, he expects to win, uh, he's a good mentor for our younger guys, you know, being a red shirt, he's there a lot with our younger guys, so they are able to watch him and and watch him find ways to beat guys in the third period or watch him find ways to turn guys and you know it's just exciting for us knowing that he's going to be back in the lineup this year uh, great role model great workout partner for our guys Bobby Ream, Danny Neff, Cody Wheeler those guys in the room and uh, you know somebody that we put a lot of praise into and uh, we're excited about what he's doing this year and what he's going to bring to our program in the future. Yeah definitely Ronnie Perry having a great season he's actually going to compete out at Midlands this year so we look forward to see how he does again although he's redshirting this year national qualifier last year and really looking forward to, to him be a top guy over the next couple years. Uh, Coach Thursday night of this week uh, back in action at home host Messiah one of the top division three programs in the country and uh, EWO opener with Bloomsburg. Uh, talk a little bit about those matches on Thursday and what you're looking for. Yeah it'll be a good uh, you know one of our first home meets here and we're excited about Messiah they wanted to come up and wrestle us that we recruit a lot from the same area down in the Lancaster area and a lot of common names kind of common opponents that our guys have wrestled in high school and you know like you said Doug a really division three powerhouse in wrestling so somebody that will come in here challenge us but get our guys a good perspective on you know where they're at and then uh, you know topping it off with Bloomsburg a EWL rival right down the road and uh, you know, Bloomsburg's been working hard, similar to us, just trying to get back on the map and really develop their guys into, you know, top 20 wrestlers. So having two matches in the same night should be great for fans that are traveling a long way to be able to get in there and watch our guys scrap in a couple duels. And, uh, you know, picking up two wins to end the semester would be great for our program. We're excited about getting our guys motivated, going out there, putting on a show, scoring a lot of points. And, uh, you know, just representing the way that we feel like we should in, in, on the mat, you know, here in the Thomas Fieldhouse. So, uh, if you have an opportunity to come out, 5.30, 7 o'clock this Thursday, uh, watch the Bald Eagles take on Messiah in Bloomsburg, and uh, look forward to a great, great competition. Well, you heard, Coach. Let's pack the field house Thursday night. It's going to be an exciting night of wrestling. Uh, Coach, before we go this week, I know you want to give a little shout-out to a couple of guys behind the scenes. You know, with, uh, to run a program, it takes a lot of helpers, a lot of supporters. You know, obviously our alumni, uh, our community. But right down to the nitty gritty, we got Steve Fittery, assistant coach, who's doing a great job building our program, really spreading the positive word about Lock Haven Wrestling, really hitting the recruiting trail hard, uh, connecting with a lot of alumni and donors, and just promoting our program. So hats off to him. Also, Coach Rob Weichel, uh, local guy, Central Mountain coach for years, helped build their program, now one of our assistant coaches. Uh, great guy. Um, instrumental in building this program and helping us get back on track and, and building these young guys into successful student athletes. And uh, we're excited about the staff that we have here. 
Uh, we believe we have coaches that care, that want to develop our guys and have the best interests of our student athletes in mind. And, uh, you know, a special shout out to those guys for the time that they put into our program and what they're able to do here in Lock Haven. Well, you heard it, Lock Haven Wrestling. It's a team effort, top to bottom. We'll see you guys next week.